It's Ruby time. R W B Y because we gotta watch Volume Two, Chapter Eleven. No breaks. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach the Jedi Utaku. We're gonna watch the next episode of R W B Y. If you've been watching, you saw that I just posted a video with Andy. Uh, or as we might be calling him, the Sith Otaku for all of you guys. Thank you guys for your suggestions. But i got to finish the last two chapters of Volume 2 before we can start Volume 3, and we're going to bring Andy back into the fold, and he's going to start watching with us. I have a couple of ideas for what I want to do to bring Andy up to speed. Uh, let me know if you guys think about uh, having him do a Rift um, uh, reaction for Volumes 1 and 2, uh, let me know if you guys think that would be a cool idea. And then I think I want to do some, I have some other ideas, some fun like uh, highlight reels of the chapters and showing us for Andy's reaction and my reactions. And we'll see where we're going on from there before we start volume three. Uh, but anyways, let's, we got to get there first. So let's just start this next chapter. Ready, play. <laughs> Wow, oh, you are much more manageable without that oversized gardening tool of yours. <laughs> oh man, you know, Perry, I really did need this. Yes, Perry. <laughs> <sighs> but seriously, how'd you find this place, Red? Uh... Oh, speed. Oh. oh. Oh, the other side, it's a grappling hook, cool. I see you got some tricks up your sleeve. Let me make this clear. We're not through here yet. Oh, what the? Perry, if you and the boys can take care of that, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Hmm. What is going on here? Oh, everybody's, yep. Grim? Or is it the team? It's the team! Yay! Somebody Perry kill wearing her. glasses. Run! Rudy, run! Oh, you're gonna break your cane? Touch this car and spread the word. We're okay. starting the train, but we're not finished. <laughs> Do it, or you're finished. Oh. <laughs> oh, Ruby! Yeah, yeah. Okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. But listen, Torchwick's got all sorts of weapons and robots down there. What? Androids, mechs, they are all loaded up on the train cars. Ah, that's ridiculous. These tunnels are sealed. The tracks lead to a dead end. Get to your places. We are leaving now. You gotta find him. You gotta get onto the train, guys. Get onto the train. We're about to get stuff is happening. An ultimate episode. I believe we only have one option. Fight. We're stopping that train. Yeah. Yeah. Stop the train. Huh? Oh. I think they're on the hook. <laughs> Boss, they made it on the train. <sighs> then grab some cargo and get them off the train. Man, animals, every one of them. Not you, though. You're, uh, you're great. <laughs> All right, children, we must get to the front and stop this train. Uh, Professor? Doctor. What's Doctor. that? The bomb. That, my dear, appears to be a bomb. We've got baddies! Well, that's a lot of white things. Well, I didn't expect them to go. Uh -oh. Easy on us. Time to go. Blake, the dad's like a moose. It'll kill us all. On it. Huh? It didn't couple itself. What? I guess he really doesn't want us on this train. Uh oh. 
Oh That's shit! Not good. Uh, neither is this. Another bomb? No, no, no. Oh, they're collapsing the ca the caverns. They're gonna collapse the caverns. Oh, they're gonna let all of the fucking grim through into Vale. All of the Grim are going to attack Vale. Ha! Yeah, that's my girl. That's my girl. Oh, I love to use the classic Star Wars yell. Yeah! Ice him. Okay, good. She didn't chop him through. Just knock him all out. Letting the Grim in right now. They're gonna drop through. Yup. Here they come. Oh, fuck. That is a lot of Grim! This bitch. This one's Neo, mine. right? Uh, take her out. Yeah, girl. Get her. Meeting like this, people are gonna talk. Ah! 
Oh! Oh, she let the fire clone semblance. Oh, what? What? She taking that from Wise? Use her power actively. Why are you I saw you at the rally. We're on the same side, and you know it. Oh, oh, why is taking me out? I love how technical she is. Oh, time glyph. Whoa! Shit! Come here, princess. Uh oh. Oh, that's right. There's like a split second between she activates each time. Uh oh. Shit. Fuck. Man, they're all having trouble right now. Nice grab a leg. Woo! Wow, that limberness is ridiculous. Ah, still feisty. So, what are we gonna do now? Blade do you sword really looks think a little bow on top is gonna make people forget what you were? What you've done. Oh, they changed the way it looks. So what's it gonna be, okay, Blake? Okay, uses a second sword. <laughs> Not good, guys. Oh, it's it's like um. What? What? Who? Surprise, especially because they're saving Yang. Don't worry, Ruby. It's time I teach them but a lesson. Still. Oh, Ublek's about to fucking go to town. <laughs> Sway, come on. You're gonna help him? Fireballs, why? But now all the Grim are going to be in town. During the festival, everyone is going to be fighting next episode. Oh no. 
shit's about to go down. And it's dusk, isn't it? But why would they do it? Why would the White Fang do this during the festival when all of them are there to help attack? God damn, guys. Fuck. Wow. Oh my god, I'm so excited for the next one. Man, okay. Three things to talk about. There are really, all right, four things to talk about in this episode. All right. We got to talk about, all right, it's grim. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So one, Ublek, uh, Dr. Ublek and his um, like oil caffeine canister, just flame torch, um, amazing. That was amazing. And him and Zwei, like, I had, what? 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 No clue how that was going to happen. Um, that was awesome. I loved his powers. That was so cool. I want to see more of him. I want to see more of Ublek being a badass. I'm sure we're going to see that next episode. I, man, this was so, I didn't, uh, Blake Semblance. Holy moly. I know that she, like, ghosted out. She leaves shells of herself. But this was the first time I've seen it with different um properties we had a, a, a nice one a fire one a, a rock one that was so dope i've never seen that before is that something that she like kind of picked up from wise and her you know shotgun you know her russian roulette ability i uh her like six shooter like having different things or is that like a dust thing that she's holding on to that allows her to change the semblance because she's got some dust that changes the properties of it that was so dope i'm so interested in, in how that went all of the fight scenes were really freaking awesome. I loved how Wise was fighting. I love Wise's technical ability. Um, and that her, even though she has a lot of technical ability, her weapon choices allow her a lot of flexibility, even though she's so rigid in her technique, uh, which is always cool. It makes her still adaptable and a, and a, and a power to be reckoned with. Loved uh, how funny it was with Ruby without her, her scythe. And, uh, how Torchwick was able to knock him down. Did anyone notice? I think Perry was wearing glasses. I thought Perry was, you know, he, Perry he had the, the the mask, but glasses were there. Um, and I'm going to call her the Red Hawk, the Red Hawk uh, woman. I'm, I'm going to guess, since it's been hinted at, or, and you guys have been like, no spoilers, but something is coming, and I, I just have a feeling that that is their mom. Um, for sure their mom, the red, um, gives it like the red next to Ruby, you same coloring makes sense. The fact that there's no one there, the fact that it was for her to save Yang. Um, so I would not be surprised at all if that was their mother. Um, I'm very excited to find out more. Her power set, that was so interesting too. Not only was her design fucking awesome, and actually, you know what, her costume, um, while being red in design, it reminded me of Yang's costume, her skirt kind of thing with the little flap that made it look hawk like. Yang has that look too. And they actually do a lot of like her Yang like uh you know, rear end shots and with her with her skirt and it looks just the same, that little flapping thing that's going on. So it's gotta be it's gotta be the mom. Don't tell me, because I'm gonna watch it real real I'm gonna watch the next one right away. And now we have what the, you know, the Red Fang's master plan is for now. At least the first, the next step of the master plan, which is releasing all of the Grimm into uh, the city of Vale. But it makes no sense. Why would they do it during the solstice when all four of the kingdoms are there to help support? I get it. Like, it's all assault. All of the enemies are there and she can overtake them. Then it does it. So if, if, it's, if it's an organized attack... Um, besides the Grim and causing chaos, you also have the White Fang on the other side doing a pincer attack. Then it makes sense. But if it's just to release the Grim and cause chaos and hope, and hope that the Grim kill all the hunters and huntresses, then it doesn't make as much sense to me. Uh, 
it, it definitely, they definitely have got to be uh, having a pincer attack and having the fight because they've got the paladins, they've got all the rest of the dust weapons because those bombs didn't use up all of the dust. There's no way. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of fighting. I wonder if Junior is going to come in next episode and help fight because he's pissed at Roman and, and he's going to defend his hometown. We will see everything that happens. We're going to see a lot of, and we're going to see some really cool things next episode. I am super excited. And was there anything from the last one? I know I didn't get a lot of time to talk about the last one, so I'm going to see if I can find my notes on that and see if there's anything that we need to discuss because this was just an awesome episode. Duty, quality, nope, 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 blah, 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 mountain. Blake Semblance is freaking awesome. I love that ability. It's so cool. It's a shadow clone or a substitution clone, and it's just an empty... What she said in the last chapter, what Blake said in the last chapter, which I really liked, was that her semblance was an empty copy left to take the hit. But even still, it's so useful. And this was the first time we actually got to see her active power with it, which is so cool. I just love that. All right. That's enough. We're going to have to, we just got to watch the next episode right away. Uh, so like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know what you guys thought of my reaction and my review of this episode of, of RWBY in general. And let me know if you guys, uh, what you guys think of my ideas for the next um, set of things to do after I'm done with volume two and getting Andy acclimated and bringing him into the channel and then starting with volume three. Let me know what you think of my ideas there. And as always, Jedi Otaku out.